At the backbone of some of your favorite artists are innovative visionaries that take on roles of business managers, label execs, legal counsel, and more. Billboard partnered with Lexus to present the Latin Women Power Players list, highlighting these important individuals. Our very own Griselda Flores is here with me to shine some light on these incredible women and showcase the groundbreaking accomplishments they achieve every day. Griselda, what sort of women can we expect to see on the list? Well, the list runs the spectrum from label executives to leaders in streaming. You know, these are women that are visionaries and are elevating Latin women in the music industry, while also paving the way for a new generation of executives. Now, who are some of the label bosses we have on the list? There is Maria Fernandez, the EVP and COO of Latin Iberia for Sony Music Entertainment. And she's one of the most powerful yet humble women in the industry. And she's behind artists like our very own Women of the Year, Shakira, Maluma, Camilo, and so many more. Oh my God, I love all those names. That's some real star power there. Well, she's a force to be reckoned with at Sony. And if that wasn't enough, she became the first Latina member of the Fender Musical Instruments Board of Directors. Now, aside from label bosses, who else can we expect to see on the list? Well, of course, we had to recognize the women who are behind the streaming revolution and everything that they've done to help globalize Latin music. We have Mia Nigren, the general manager in Latin America for Spotify. And there's Rocio Guerrero, who is the global head of Latin music for Amazon Music. You know, these are women that have been pioneers in the streaming landscape. They've also identified opportunities for emerging Latin acts and are working to expand the reach of Latin music globally. You really can't deny the impact that streaming has had. What sorts of milestones have these women been able to achieve in their roles? Well, there's now more than 100 million Spotify users in Latin America, and that's thanks to Mia's efforts. And at Amazon, Rocio launched Amazon Music Latin, which is a multi-platform hub that celebrates the nuances of Latin music. That is incredible. Now, what about some of these businesswomen on the legal and management side of things? Yeah, well, one of the lawyers that we had to celebrate is Angie Martinez. She works with Latin hitmakers Fade, Osuna, Pitbull, just to name a few. And she was instrumental helping Luis Fonsi purchase his editorial catalog, including, of course, his history-making Despacito. Despacito. <laughs> wow, that is epic. Well, with the fight of artists having ownership of their work, it's great to hear progress like that. Now, what about some of the people behind getting artists recognized? There's Luana Pagani, who is president of Sidetrack US and has been in the business for so many years. Before she joined Sidetrack, she was actually at Sony Music, helping strategize the international careers of Shakira and Ricky Martin. And now at Sidetrack, she's helmed the U.S. comeback of Los Angeles Azules and Alejandro Sanz. Shakira and Ricky Martin were the leaders in the Latin boom of the early 2000s. Whenever, wherever is still my jam. Whenever, wherever. And Living La Vida Loca is still my anthem. <laughs> yeah, girl. Back then, before social media was even like a thing to help promote artists, you really had to rely on touring. And no one knows more about that than Emily Simonich, who's Senior VP of Booking for the West Coast at Live Nation. So she helped powerhouses Alejandro Fernandez, Maná, Marco Antonio Solis to become touring titans. You know, most recently, Maná had a residency in LA with 12 back-to-back -back sold out shows. That is impressive, but today it seems an artist needs to be everywhere all at once. They kind of do. You know, Latin stars are breaking record after record, but they're not doing it alone. They have people like Elsa Yep, who is COO at Universal Music Latin America and Iberian Peninsula that are working with them. She has focused on consolidating Universal's, what they're calling 360 powerhouse reach which led to the international success of clients like Carol G, who made history with Mañana Será Bonito, the first all Spanish language album by a woman to peak at number one on the Billboard 200. We love a Billboard hit. These are really the unsung heroes of the music industry. Thanks, Grizz, for shining some well-deserved light onto these amazing women. Anytime, Tetris. Thank you. 
And just like our power player's Lexus continues to push the envelope, from hybrids to plug-in hybrids to the first all-electric Lexus RZ, Lexus Electrified is powered by you. Check out the full list of trailblazing Latin women and music power players on Billboard.com and on Billboard Espanol, presented by Lexus.